Hi, I'm Peter Litvin. You might recognize me as Burger King Boy, or maybe from the show Blanket Folk, or maybe from the movie Hectic Knife, the trauma movie. You know, cool. Wow, look how amazing I look. Isn't that neat? Actually, the truth is I'm really just sad, lonely, and depressed almost all the time. And the reason I look cool in these pictures is because I hired a really talented stylist, photographer, and makeup artist to make me appear more interesting than I actually am. It was Saturday, and I didn't know what to do with myself. I was originally scheduled to perform at an LGBT feminist expo at the Javits Center in Chelsea, but it got canceled due to a perceived terrorist threat in the New York City area. What was I going to do now? So I came home, I worked on my screenplay for a little while, Dragos, but I didn't want to do it much longer, so I called up my friend Bogdan, he said, come over, and we went to a Thai restaurant. He was having an unusually good time and was in great spirits considering the difficulty he's been having lately in his life. So we hung out, we ate the Thai food, but eventually he said he wanted to go work out and then I had to go home. So we both went our separate ways. I went home, I worked out, took my shirt off and took a picture of myself. And then I wanted to play Super Mario World for a little while. So I played and I had a little bit of fun, but I was starting to feel lonely and I turned it off and I was like just lonely and sad and alone. What am I gonna do? And then I got an idea. Why don't I call Bogdan again? I'm sure he's bored too. So I said, do you want to play video games and watch a movie at my crib? And um, then I just waited for him to respond. <sighs> and I waited. We all waited. But he wasn't responding. Why, why wasn't he responding? A half hour, an hour, an hour and a half. Is he too busy? Does he not have his phone with him? He's always got his phone with him. Every time I see him, he's constantly on his phone and he always has it on his person. Why would he all of a sudden not have it on him now? Oh my God, so what do I do? Should I go hang out with Mark in New Jersey? I don't feel like driving to New Jersey. Menace lives close by, but he's at some stupid wedding the rest of the day, so he can't do anything. What am I gonna do? And then he texted back. He said, Yeah, son, I'm out tonight. Let's get into some shit tomorrow. Some shit tomorrow. Some shit tomorrow. I didn't really like that answer, so I decided I would go and pay him a visit, regardless of the fact that he didn't want to. And along the way, you just see so many crazy things in New York. For instance, here's the NYPD driving a van. Then I saw what I thought was a fine piece of pussy crossing the street, but it was hard to tell because the windshield was blurry. But it was wearing a dress and it looked pretty good. You'll never believe what happened next. There was Vincent Schiavelli in the flesh, the real actor, a celebrity on the street. If you live in New York, you're used to this sort of thing, but not Vincent Schiavelli. That's too exciting. This looked weird to me because he was like pulling her arm. It was Carlos Mencia and Rosario Dawson, but what were they doing next to the hospital in Bushwick? It seemed weird and it seemed like he was forcing her to do something. I don't know. Neither of them were smiling. Did it mean something? Was I supposed to intervene? How long was it going to go on for? What was happening? I just didn't have any explanation, but I kept watching. But then I had to go because the light turned green. So I left and I put on some banging tunes, you know, some all timers. Spotify is great for that. So I'm driving around, listening to all my amazing songs. And would you believe it? I saw more celebrities. There goes Henry Rollins and Charlotte York from Sex in the City walking down the street, just a regular residential side street. So I drove a little more and eventually I arrived at Bogdan's. So I jumped the fence and then I went into his backyard and then you'll see what happens from there.
breaking into the house and I'm making a drink in my underwear. Commitment is truly unwavering. <laughs> Look at the shot. That's great, man. That's insane. You got it on my eyes. Like, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Kobe. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, well, I'm a big fan of the home invasion thing. I'm a big fan of, you know, spying on people, getting footage of them while they're not aware that they're being taped. So, you know, good work on that. Um, oh, I'm going to fart. You really gotta hold yeah, you